hi guys um another little flip through uh i watched artie mays over the last couple of weeks making her beautiful moana um mermaid journal and thought i would do something similar um but with more of a just an underwater theme um the cover on this one is chipboard covered with um, fabric which I've then um, used modelling paste to make what looks like bubbles um, and shells on the front. There's corners on each corner to protect the corners, um, a little fabric flower and some scraps that have been sewn and put together there and that's a picture of a mermaid um, the spine which I think is just on an inch I've covered with um, threaded lace and then the back is just the fabric with some of the modeling paste okay so opens up I've left this blank blank so in case anyone wanted to add something here um I've made dangles. Uh, I found some pictures of old shells on Flickr, which I've then cut out um, and turned into dangles. It's literally just a cut out a, a grommet um, and a bulb pin, uh, a little cluster and a mermaid. Uh, the pages I've uh, painted with watercolour and then splattered with gold. Okay, this one here, uh, top tuck with some beautiful paper that I received from um, Jeff in America on one of my Oak House Journals tag swaps, just outstanding. Um, and I've just put a bit of lace on that and another of me dingly dangly fish. Again, I found them on Flickr. And whoops, yep, just tuck that in there. Here, um, these beautiful little buttons were also, I think they're buttons, but they only had one hole in them. Anyway, whatever they are, they're beautiful. They were sent from Jeff in America, so I've just added a seed bead um, and tied it through with some blue uh, embroidery silk. Here, we've got a, a picture of a mermaid, of mermaids um, with a little poem. I've watercolored, added a bit of um, dyed cheesecloth, um, a tiny bit of glitter, and some gold. And on the page, I've just made uh, a tab with a dangle. Okay, turn over. More of the um, dyed cheesecloth. Believe in yourself. Uh, mermaid which I think the mermaid this one was from graphics fairy uh, the members part um, always choose adventure turn over again um, that's her tail going over the page here I've taken some inches um, and just attached them to the page randomly with some twine underneath to to link them and here after watching Artie Mays, I've got a little um, picture cut out with an inch hole punch. Uh, put that in and embossed it and then just dangled it from there. Hope you can see all right. I better just check here. Yeah. Over the next page, um, another mermaid, which I think is Alphonse. Oh, I can't remember his name. If I remember his name, I'll add it to the bottom um, underneath the video. And I've made a matching tag with another little dang dingly dangly fish. Yeah, another cluster. This opens up. This envelope was made by Jeff and sent to me. And I've just put some twinchies in there of mermaids. And then I've put just a couple of beautiful um, small beads on the end of here. This is like a 
tracing paper or a vellum that he's altered. It's beautiful. Right, this page, um, I just love the background on that. Um, I can't remember where that came from. And some more dyed cheesecloth and a little shell charm hanging from it. Plenty of journaling space here. More journaling space. Um, paper that I've splattered with blues and some... No, that one hasn't got gold on it. Here, I've made a little pocket um, with a tag. Another one of the dangles embossed. Um, I've embossed this La Mer, uh, let the sea set you free, and then a little journaling space on the back of the tag um, with some lace. And that just sits in there nicely. Eh? Um, here I've got another tab, tab with another dangle held on by a ball pin. This page, um, obviously, fish, a seahorse. Another tag. Um, I think I used an envelope which I tore down and then inked. Um, another tag with another fish and another dangle. Like so, goes there. Here, yeah, another, some more blue, beautiful paper and a seahorse. This page aimed to be amazing. Um, I, it's just a tag that I've embossed and added a little bit of, uh, what's this stuff called? Rick rack. Here, this page flips open like so. And we've got another dangly here with a glittered fish and a um, starfish and a bead. So that flips like so. And then you've got little hidey space and more journaling space. Um, more uh, dyed paper uh, here we've got a uh, lace pocket on top of some lovely uh, blue material sand between my toes they're like islands in the sea separate on the surface but connected in the deep by William James um, again more of the dyed cheesecloth and a seahorse right here tucked onto this page with a ouch with a safety pin another envelope with a journaling card or a yeah journaling card inside put that back and then oops tuck it over that over that page clip it back on uh, a smaller page in the middle with a pocket on that side with uh, seahorses, which I think I got from Tina Laity. Uh, hummingbird tails. Um, another piece of beautiful paper. Um, and another pocket with Mermaid's Cave uh, tags in, which are graphics fairy. On this page got another little envelope with some squid or cuttlefish on the voice of the sea speaks to the soul and again another journaling card in there and that pins onto this page and um, we've got another tab with a dingly dangly and a tag this is another one of um, Jeff's beautiful pages. Goodness knows how he makes them so lovely. Um, more, another pocket, um, another tag using um, a picture of a, an octopus, which is embossed. Um, I made a Suffolk puff, um, used a little shell, some of my twine that I think um, Tina sent to me, Tina Laity from Hummingbird Tales, um, and uh, the definition of mermaid, which I found in one of my dictionaries. And that sits in there nicely. And some lots of journaling space here. 
and we've got a page with a um, picture of mermaids. Here we've got um, a glassine bag which was painted and uh, decorated by Jeff in America. This is um, another tag, which I'm sure these are from Louise Heinzel. I'm sure that's her stuff and I've just cut out the circles, uh, cut out these into circles and put them on a bit of cardboard and then made it into a tag. Turn over, we've got a beautiful mermaid there. This I've made into a flip, um, lovely paper clip with a charm sent to me by Jeff and Louise Heinzel, definitely Louise Heinzel's um, papers. Um, here we've got another mermaid here, which was Graphics Fairy. Turn over, this is not a tuck, but it's got a matching corner at the bottom, which is a tuck and a couple of little pieces, twinchies. Um, another page with a cluster on. Um, I made a seashell paper clip, which has just got a dangle on it. Um, here we have a starfish and here um, I think yeah I think that was from Flickr that image starfish which uh, Jeff sent me and just some bits and pieces like a cluster here I've got a jellyfish which is a tuck spot which I haven't got anything to tuck in to show you um, some more shells that I downloaded from Flickr. This uh, is not a pot. That's not a pocket, but that one is. There's a nice tag there with a starfish, which I don't think matches very well. But um, mermaid piece of paper of Jeff's. Listen to the sound of waves within you. And that just tucks in there nicely. And here we've got a tuck spot some uh, shells which um, I just literally cut out a page like this uh, fussy cut them and then layered them up on there to make a, a base over the page no no that's not a pocket that's just a uh, decoration uh, another couple of pockets happy uh, Louise Heinzel piece of paper lace down the side and then finally the last page for journaling again watercolored uh, blues with a bit of pink and some gold in and then the back i've left uh, blank again so that's that one she's quite chunky um she's listed on my in my etsy store um hope you enjoyed this thank you very much for watching See you again soon. Bye.